everyone! Today I'm doing kind of a review on a nail polish and I'm putting it to the test, meaning I'm going to keep updating you for about five days, which is kind of a typical um, workday week, and I'm going to let you know how the nail polish is doing. I will try to aim at seven, but I'm not promising, so I'll just say five-day test. Alright guys, so just to prove to you that today is in fact the first day, it is Sunday, July 19th in, on my phone. And just so you guys know, it's Kirby, and it says, I want you inside me. So now you guys know <laughs> the strange things that I have on my phone. So this is day one, and now I'm going to show you what my nails look like. I painted them last night around 11, so really, it doesn't really count as day one. Today is day one because, you know, I'm going to bed. I'm not really doing much. And this hand, which is my left hand, has a top coat, um, and it is OPI. Whoops. OPI top coat. And the nail polish that I'm using is Sunkiss, and this is the Sally Hansen product. And first, let me just kind of tell you, um, this is probably my third or fourth time wearing this color. And it's, I really like this color. It's not a really obnoxious orange, and I have no oranges in my, my nail polish collection whatsoever. Um, but this is a very kind of like honeydew, cantaloupe, um, melon color. I don't know which one is actually the orange one. My friends have always made fun of me about it. Um, yeah, one of those melons, it's, it's that color, and I think this is a really pretty color for summer. It's very bright, very fun, very flirty. Um, yeah, I want to say that the consistency of this nail polish is very kind of strange, and it's, why I say that is because it's really thick. This is the applicator. It's uh, pretty narrow, I think, but also kind of like, it does a pretty fine job, I think. But the nail polish itself, the first time I used it, I thought it was okay. But now, I, like yesterday when I was putting it on, it has like a really goopy consistency. Like when you put it on your nail and it has like a plastic tendency, I feel like. I feel like this is like a not a normal nail polish What for any means. <laughs> it has a very plasticky consistency. consistency. Whoa. So now I'm going to talk to you about my nails. So as I said, I use a top coat on this hand. As you can see, it's pretty shiny, and this is only one coat. And because of that plastic consistency, it, it really goes on thick. Um, yeah, I apologize. I'm not the best person at doing nails, but eh, I mean, it's okay. So that's my left hand. Here's my right hand. This has no top coat, and my nails are not the best to look at as well. But why not do this test? So as you can see, um, yeah, it goes on really, really thick. But thus far, no chips, nothing really. Just maybe right there, but I don't think I painted it very well there. So I will keep updating you on how it's going. So the second day is Monday, and there really wasn't that much um, difference from the first day. There was a little bit of wear on the edges of most of my nails, but that, the only one that really showed something was my thumb. Other than that, it was fine. Um, and my left hand was the one with the top coat. The right one had no top coat, and there was already a chip on my index finger. And um, the same as my other fingers, there's just a little bit of wear. And I just sped this up because it would be really boring hearing me talk about my fingernails all day. Day 3, Tuesday. So, here we go. Left hand, top coat. It looks fine. Um, right hand, no top coat. You can see a little bit of chipping on my index finger and also my thumb. And yeah, this is pretty boring. Look at those fingers go. Day four. Woo. At this point, I was getting pretty tired of uh, wearing orange. <laughs> so there was definitely a lot more chipping now uh, on my index finger and my middle finger and also my thumb. But other than that, my fingers looked well, okay. And then my right finger had no top coat. Um, yeah. And my index finger in that hand was totally coming off. Here's day five. Hello again. It's Thursday. This is the final day. It's day five. Now let me show you my left hand. This is the hand with the top coat. And as you can see here, my thumb, or not my thumb, my index finger is really starting to chip off. Then it's my middle finger. But overall, I think um, these two fingers have the worst kind of chipping. 
the other two fingers, it's not so bad and it's fine. Now let me show you my left hand. I totally mean my right hand. What's wrong with me? Okay, so here's my right hand. It's the hand with, um, without the top coat. And as you can see, my index finger is the worst offender. And this is because I use these two fingers a lot. That's why they would have um, the most chipping. You know, just for writing, opening something. I use my nails a lot, and I know I shouldn't. But you can see it's starting to chip on the side. It's also the same here and here. So as you can see, I think even though the top coat didn't really do too much, um, it definitely prevented chipping from the side from occurring and as well as this much chipping. So, and oh, also the pinky is chipping as well. Just about every finger on this hand, my right hand without the top coat, is chipping. Now I'm going to talk to you guys so you guys can stop seeing my hand. Let's, let's talk face to face. Okay, so face to face. Now you don't get to see my creepy little hands. Um, yeah, let me just talk to you a little bit more about the nail polish. Here are the two fingers that are probably the worst offenders. And as I mentioned, it's because I use these fingers all the freaking time. Um, I think the top coat did help a lot. And, I mean, it's not like you can see a whole lot of a difference, but you help a little bit. I'm not disappointed. I think for the amount of money that I paid, I think it's pretty good. What was it? I think it was $2.99. I actually found it on sale at Wegmans. I don't know if you guys have a net Wegmans near your house, but it was a $1.99 there. So it's about $2 for nail polish, and these are pretty new. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, you know, I don't really like to keep my nail polish on for more than a week because I get tired of looking at my nails. And as you can see, I'm sick and tired of orange nails now. I just want to try something else. So... As I said, I know I was going to try to shoot for seven days, but it really makes no difference if I, you know, um, do two more videos for two more days. Because as you can see, there's already a lot of chipping. It really makes no sense. If you can see this much chipping, why continue the video? So I think maybe for future reference, I might just try to do five days. I don't know. But yeah, a little bit more about this nail polish. As I said, this is Sun Kiss, and that's an orange. And if you, you know, if you think five days is enough for nail polish, then by all means go check it out. You can find it just about anywhere: CVS, Rite Aid, um, you know, Walmart, and etc. And they have really cool colors. I picked up some some other ones because I don't have a lot of um, interesting colors in my nail polish collection. It's mostly like reds and pinks. So I picked up this purple one, which is so pretty. I'm loving this. And this one is called Deep Purple. How original. This one's called Celeb City. And it's this very shimmery silver. And I have nothing like this. And the thing is, I was kind of worried it was going to be like chunky because I hate chunky nail polishes, the glittery kind. Um, I'll let you know, but I don't think it's going to be that glitter or that chunky. I did a little like test when I got home and it, it ran smoothly. Then I got this kind of seafoam green. It's beautiful. I love this color. And this one is called Lime Lights. But they have a lot of colors. I think the collection is great. I think it's perfect for summer, perfect for young girls, young women, whatever we call each other nowadays. I don't know. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching me. See you later. Bye-bye.